Praise be Jesus Christ, dear brothers and sisters. This is Sister Chama de la Cruz of the Daughters of St. Paul, Missionary Sisters of Social Communications. Welcome to Anbinhi, the Gospel Reflection every Sunday. Today is the fourth Sunday of Advent. As you can see, the four candles are now lighted. And Father Oscar Lorenzo, the resident priest of the Santa Niña Parish of the Archdiocese of Palo, is here to guide us. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Upon arriving, the angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored daughter. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. She was deeply troubled by his words and wondered what his greeting meant. The angel went on to say to her, Do not fear, Mary. You have found favor with God. You shall conceive and bear a son and give him the name Jesus. Great will be his dignity, and he will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will be without end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know man? The angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Hence the holy offspring to be born will be called Son of God. Know that Elizabeth, your kinswoman, has conceived a son in her old age. She, who was thought to be sterile, is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible with God. Mary said, I am the maid servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. With that, the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear people of God, the focus of our meditation today, the fourth Sunday of Advent, is the Blessed Mother, the Immaculate Conception. We know when we admire the Blessed Mother and praise her, the best that we could do is imitate her. In this Gospel, we can find the way how we can imitate her in her response or rather question to the angel. She said, how can this be? since I do not know man. In this clarificatory question, Our Lady implied two things. First, that she is innocent. And second, 
that she is not ignorant. In this way, we can imitate the Blessed Mother. She's innocent in the sense that she says she had no relations with a man, meaning she has no sin. So in that way, we can really imitate her as much as possible to be sinless like her. Of course, we cannot be like her in the full sense of the word because she is the Immaculate Conception. Second point is, she is not ignorant, meaning she knew the biological process by which a woman becomes a mother. She says, I'm not ignorant about this. So she asks, how can this be done? Meaning, therefore, the second point, we can imitate her. That we have to be like servants, as our Lord said, but wise. Rather, we have to be wise as serpent, but we have to be innocent like lamb. So these are the two points by which we can really honor her by imitating her. So in this fourth Sunday of Advent, the most fitting way by which we can really prepare for the coming of our Lord, the Son of God, is to imitate our Blessed Mother in these two points. As much as possible, we have to be knowledgeable about things that we have to know about God and man and all around us. And firstly, the first point actually, we have to be as innocent like the Blessed Mother. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father Oscar, and to you, dear brothers and sisters, our dear Kapanalig, especially to our benefactors and sponsors. Be with us again next Sunday, and that is Christmas.